As the popular saying goes, love makes the world go round. But, before you start looking for someone to fall in love with, you could argue how the internet has made the world go round for a decade. The internet has probably made your world go round. In this lesson, you will understand how information and communication technologies have improved your lives in such a short period of time. Empowerment Technology by Kevin P. Aquino What is ICT? ICT stands for Information and Communications Technology, Information and Communication Technology, ICT, deals with the use of different communication technologies such as mobile phones, telephone, internet, etc. to locate, save, send, and edit information. When we make a video, we use internet. When we send a text or make a call, we use cellular networks. When we run out of load or battery, we use payphones which use a telephone network. Having a unified way to communicate is one of the goals of ICT. In terms of economics, ICT has saved companies a lot of resources, time and money, with the kind of communication technology they use, nowadays. In a similar way, we spend less because of ICT. As it normally costs us a peso to send a text message or SMS, with the internet, we can send multiple message and only be charged by a fraction. Philippines is dubbed as the ICT hub of Asia because of huge growth of ICT related jobs, one of which is business process outsourcing BPO, or call centers. ICT department in the Philippines is responsible for the planning, development and promotion of the country's information and communications technology ICT, agenda in support of national development. In the data gathered by the annual survey of the Philippines Business and Industries, the then National Statistics Office NSO, now Philippine Statistics Authority PSA, in 2010, the ICT industry shares 19.3% of the total employment population here in the Philippines. To add to these statistics, Time magazine's The Selfiest Cities Around the World of 2013 placed two cities from the Philippines in the top 1 to 10 spots. The study was conducted using Instagram, a popular photo sharing application. With these numbers, there is no doubt that the Philippines is one of the countries that benefits most out of ICT. How many hours do you spend on the internet per day? Can you live without the internet for a week? How many aspects of your lives depend on the internet? How many times have you complained about your internet connection speed? As teenagers, you are all exposed to many things powered by the internet. Whether it is socializing, playing games, reading sports news, shopping, etc., the internet has given you one of the most powerful tools that your parents, during their teenage years, did not have. Because of this, do you not think that it is also important to wield this powerful tool properly? Without proper training, a swordsman can easily injure himself when wielding a sword, the same could be said for you whenever you use the Internet. More uses of ICT e-learning students can learn anywhere, at any time. Online records system records can be stored online and retrieved from anywhere. Point one example would be online student records, and another would be online patient records software like AutoCAD, music production software, MS Word, MS PowerPoint cartoon animation like Pixar animated films. Survey results or election results, use of PCO's machine. what are static website when we say static website 
It is known as a flat page or stationary age in the sense that the page is as is and cannot be manipulated by the user. The content is also the same for all users that is referred to as Web 1.0. How about the dynamic websites? When we say dynamic website, the Web 2.0 is the evolution of Web 1.0 by adding dynamic web pages. The user is able to see website differently than others e.g. social networking sites, wikis, video sharing sites. Content you can drop into your static websites. Examples are Flickr, SoundCloud, TED Talks, Spotify, SlideShare, Speaker Deck, Vivo, Vine. Some examples of dynamic websites, 1. Netflix When it comes to video entertainment, Netflix knows how to personalize suggestions for each user. When a user adds something new to their list to watch later, Netflix proposes similar content based on what was added to the list as well as the user's rating history. 2. Amazon Amazon is similar to Netflix with its suggested products displayed based on what a customer has bought or viewed previously. As a result, when a user provides more feedback and reviews, his or her next experiences are better targeted. The user's engagement then helps Amazon choose products to target for other customers. Ultimately, the better the targeted content, the greater the chances are that customers will buy more goods from Amazon. The technical name for this functionality is Dynamic Website Personalization DWP, dot. We often see email marketing messages targeted to our own purchase history, interests, and even birthdays. The move to more personalized web experiences is a logical next step. 3. HubSpot taking inbound marketing beyond email is where HubSpot excels. HubSpot software platform provides a customized website experience and displays dynamic content to every user, dependent on where they stand in the sales funnel. HubSpot customers use adaptive landing pages with personalization tokens and progressive profiling to swap out appropriate content. For example, if a user visits a web page and downloads an ebook, the next time, s, he visits, s, he will see different content to avoid a repetitive experience and maintain a personalized one. 4. Facebook Facebook approaches personalized sales with dynamic content from a social advertising perspective. It allows hyper-targeting of its ads through advanced demographics, giving advertisers the ability to hone in on a specific persona that is most likely to convert. In the example above, the advertiser can expect to reach up to 5,800 single Facebook users between the ages of 20 and 40 who live within 25 miles of Nashville, Tennessee in the United States and like cooking or cookbooks. In the words of Social Ads Tool, you are what you like. 5. Fits.me Virtual Dressing Room After your brilliantly targeted marketing and advertising campaigns reach the customers that would like to try you on for size, your job is to convince them that you are a good fit. In the e-commerce clothing space, third-party application Fits.me cites that 45% of regular online shoppers believe the most disappointing part of their experiences is the inability to try on the garment to check the fit. Fits.me aims to solve this problem by enabling e-retailers to literally show their shoppers what they might look like in a given item on their site virtually.